Welcome to G-Ball Vision, everyone. We got a couple of knives that we are going to go over very quickly. And I'd like to kick it off with the Civivi Baltair. This bad boy has found its way into my pocket fairly often. I'm a big fan of bigger knives, and this bad boy is coming in at almost 9 inches. I love this blade shape. It is a tanto, but it's just got all these unique lines and flats, and it's just so unique, so pokey, so slicey. You have a hollow here and a flat here, 14C, 28N, PVD coated. There's an unboxing of this up on the channel. You have dual deployment with the dual thumb studs and flipper tab. The detent is tuned very well. This guy thwacks out of there, guys, and you can load up on the reverse flick. The ergos on this thing are comfortable. They have a bunch of different flavors. This one's the burlap micarta, open construction, lots of milling going on in there. You have a rollover steel clip there. Everything is recessed. You can flip this over for lefty carry. Liner lock, you do have some jimping there on the liner. Not the greatest access to the liner, guys, but it's something for the price of the knife and how much I like it. I'm I'm not willing to overlook it as, you know, a review of the knife, but it's something I myself am willing to overlook because of how much I like this knife and how comfortable it is in hand. Tons of room, guys, and tons of blade length, tons of utility. The Civivi Baltair, definitely a banger. The next one we got up, the Migron Centurion. I absolutely love this knife, guys. Coming in under $50. PVD coated blade, 14C, 28N. Slight clip point. You have dull thumb studs and a rear flipper tab for deployment. I botched that one there myself. You do have Migron there on the pivot. There's a couple different flavors of this knife as well. The G10 on this is just absolutely exceptional. Nice chamfered and softened edges. Open or no, it's not open construction. You have a G10 backspacer there. And this is how it's done. Uh, you have some nice access to the liner chamfer here on the show side and then a nice chamfer on that liner it is easy to disengage nice and comfortable the action is phenomenal titanium uh, pocket clip it's not going to be reversible on this guy but for under 50 bucks for everything you're getting if i'm a lefty i am willing to accept that it is a liner lock so it'll be easy to uh, open and close as a lefty anyway. Uh, I would take this in a heartbeat if I'm anyone, even a lefty, uh, under 50 bucks. This thing is absolutely exceptional, comfortable as all hell, nice and slicey, 14C, titanium, well done G10, hard to beat. Uh, hard to beat Megaron, period. Doesn't matter if it's 50 or 150. Migron is doing a phenomenal job. Next up, we are talking about an exclusive knife. This is the NASCO Lander, and this bad boy is coming in M390. You have a nice satin finish that has tons of fingerprints all over it. Let me get this cleaned off a little bit here, even though I just cleaned it off. This bad boy is coming in M390. It's an Urban EDC Supply exclusive. I'm not sure if these are still available, but if they are, this is one hell of a knife and a phenomenal deal coming from Urban. You do get the Sagaha scales, and they also have a Contour G10 set of scales that comes with it. Uh, you know, you have a deep carry recess pocket clip there. It will be left-hand friendly. They include a filler tab. This is one of my favorite fifth pocket knives of all time. It is a great little user knife. Great drop point blade there. Nice low tip. Absolutely love the lander. Doesn't have to be the exclusive lander. There's a ton of different uh, 
variations of this knife that you can get blade hq you can get normal one there's a ton so it doesn't have to be just this one but the nasco lander in general this one hasn't gotten a lot of play on the channel and it's one i'd like to bring to the forefront a little bit more absolutely love this thing and they are definitely worth taking a look at if you need a nice secondary or fifth pocket Next up, we have one of my favorites of the year. This is the Large Pyrite from CJRB. You have ARPM9 on the blade steel. You have a nice stone wash, tumbled finish. Dual thumb studs for the deployment. It is a button lock, of course. You have nice G10 handles and a deep carry reversible clip. The action on these is very well done from CJRB. They do a phenomenal job on their plunge locks and they really increase the spring strength on these large pyrites, probably for that larger blade, but I think they need to continue going with whatever spring they used in these for all of their button locks because this is so well done. It really feels like it's close to a true detent. Uh, I'm just a huge fan of this thing. It's a great size. You know, it is left-hand friendly. Uh, I love the look of this thing with the liners kind of, you know, shadowing over the G10. Uh, there's different flavors of this, and I'm assuming... CJRB is going to put out some more premium end models of this thing. And it, it's a full flat grind, comes down nice and thin. Great drop point blade shape. Uh, there's not a whole lot to dislike about the CJRB Pyrite whole series, the whole family. Uh, this one in uh, general though is just fantastic. And if you're looking for something that's fidgety, this thing will definitely fit the bill. There's nothing quite like, you know, whether it's thumb studs or a hole or a front flipper or a rear flipper. There's nothing quite like thwacking out a big old, you know, three and three quarter, three and a half inch and up, you know, to like four and a quarter. Something like that. And something about just flipping open a big old blade, you know, like like the Balsair here. Uh, there's just something about flicking a knife, you know, that size open. And there you can see a good comparison there. The Balsair is a beast of a knife. A little bit bigger than the large Pyrite. But there is a couple of newer knives into the channel that i absolutely love little bit of each size got the little mini guy there got the medium sized the large and then the xl size uh all great knives in their own right Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have any of these knives or if you're looking at any of these knives. I love hearing from you guys. If you are new to the channel or you're, you've been here before but you're just not subscribed, check down below and make sure. Hit the subscribe button. We have all kinds of stuff coming up the pipe. Giveaways, tons more content every day. Every day, baby, we, we release a new video, at least one, if not two. So there's tons of content coming your way. I'm going to throw up two other videos right here. Definitely going to want to go and check this one out right here. I love you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.